Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, first of all, I'm sorry if the previous video was a little boring. I know it was boring. Today, we do what we do some examples relating to tariffs. Some simpler examples, some smaller examples from the book. Example 5.1. So, what does it state? A consumer has a maximum demand of 200 kilowatt. Maximum demand of 200 kilowatts. At 40% load factor. Load factor is 40%. If the tariff is rupees 100 per kilowatt of maximum demand, 100 per kilowatt of maximum demand plus 10 pesa, per kilowatt hour so i would say plus 0 0.1 per kilowatt hour this is the tariff given find the overall cost per kilowatt hour so the cost of electrical energy per kilowatt hour is unknown so first i would do it i will find the energy units so the energy units would be what fld into maximum demand into time now is this yearly or what so they have not mentioned it explicitly take it yearly as they have taken it yearly although they have not mentioned it so the energy units would come out to be 700800 700800 kilowatt hours take the time 8760 so this is given what this is the tariff given so how can you Calculate the total cost. The total cost would be that T is equal to 100 multiplied by 200. Yes, yes. Plus, plus 0 0.1 multiplied by this thing. So the overall cost comes out to be 90080. 90, uh, 90080. This is the overall cost in rupees now cost per kilowatt hour would be what so you take the total cost and divide it by the total number of units which comes out to be rupees 0 0.1285 or 12.85 pesos right yes simpler ones 5.2 the maximum demand of a consumer is 20 amperes at 220 volts. Maximum demand is 20 amperes at 220 volts. And his total energy consumption is 8760 kilowatt hours. If the energy is charged at a rate of 20 pesa per unit for 500 hours. So 20 pesos mean what rupees 0 0.2 for 500 hours use of the maximum demand 5 hours use of uh, the maximum demand plus uh, per annum plus 10 pesa per unit plus rupees 0 0.1 per unit for the rest of the units for additional units so you have to calculate the annual bill and the equivalent flat rate so the annual bill and the equivalent flat rate so flat rate is what is the cost per unit cost per unit okay so first of all the maximum demand we need so the maximum demand is given uh, in volt amperes and volt amperes is not equal to kilowatts when you talk of the power factor and if the power factor is unity only then they are equal so i would write the maximum demand to be what the maximum demand i would i need the maximum demand basically in kilowatts so for that i would have to assume that my power factor is unity so what do i have maximum demand would be what 20 multiplied by 220 uh, and multiply 1 and this would give me va but basically i need uh, kvas so i need in a thousand so i would divide by thousand so this would give me what this would give me 4.4 kilowatts 4.4 kilowatts yes p is equal to vi cos of phi 
p is equal to this is what this is p is equal to vi cos of phi thousand is for the kilo next what do you have so the units consumed in 500 hours would be what units consumed in 500 hours would be uh, would be what it would be 4.4 of the maximum demand so so four point no 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 wait wait units consumed in 500 hours means what uh, that the maximum demand is 4.4 and the hour is 500 so 4.4 multiply 500 gives you 2200 units 2200 units now these 2200 are charged at rupees 0.2 charge is what 0 0.2 so this implies what that 2200 multiplied 0 0.2 would give you the charges which would be 440 rupees these are for the first 500 units now the remaining units the remaining units are what the remaining units are 8760 minus 500 so these are how many 6560 Six five six zero are the remaining number of units, and you have to charge them by what? Zero point one rupees. So the charge is for this. For this, the charge is would be six five six zero multiply zero point one, and this comes out to be six fifty six. Six fifty six rupees. So which means you've got one rate, you've got the other rate. So the total annual bill would be what? Four forty plus. 656 what is this 1096 1096 and the equivalent flat rate would be what so flat rate is the total number of units divided uh, the total price divided by total number of units so total number of units are 8760 so the flat rate comes out to be rupees 0 0.125 or or 12.5 pesos this was 5.2 5.3 states what example the following tariffs are offered the following tariffs are offered rupees 100 plus 15 pesa per unit 100 plus 15 pesa per unit this is tariff a and a flat rate of 30 pesa per unit 30 pesa per unit this is tariff b at what consumption is the first rate economical so the energy units are unknown the energy units e are unknown for which the first one is economical so have a look if i say the first one is 100 plus 0 0.15 times e and I equate it to 0 0.30 times E. Yes, isn't it like this? It is. So basically I have done what? This is the energy units, right? So from here find E. This E comes out to be uh, 666 units. 666 units. So these, this 666 are the units for which the both of the price is the same. Now, if the energy units are greater than this value, so what would be the case? A will be economical. Why? Because after this, because the A is, uh, is A is charging 15 pesos a unit and this B is charging 30 pesos a unit. So of course 15 pesos a unit would be economical. At, till this number of units 66, at this unit 666, both the rates are the same. Right? Yes. Okay, let's say 5.5. What do you have? The next example. Uh, an electric supply company having a maximum load of 50 megawatts so the maximum demand is 50 megawatts generates this much units the units are 18 into 10 to the power 7 units per annum units per annum and the supply consumers have an aggregate demand of 75 megawatt 
Aggregate demand means what? So I believe I mentioned it somewhere in the previous examples video and I did not explain it. So the aggregate demand is basically the summation of the maximum demands from the definition of diversity factor. Okay. So which means that this maximum demand that is given, this is the maximum demand of the system. And the summation of the maximum demand of the system is 75 megawatts. The annual expenses including the capital charges are... So for fuel you have 90 lakhs, for concerning generation you have 28 lakhs and then for transmission and distribution you have 32 lakhs, transmission and distribution you have 32 lakhs. Assuming 90% of the fuel is essential in the running charges, 90% of fuel is in the running charges. And uh, the loss in the transmission distribution is 15% of kilowatt hour generated. Loss is 15% of kilowatt hour generated. Deduce a two part tariff and the cost of supply. So the two part tariff is unknown. So what do you have is the annual fixed charges. So you find out the fixed charges first. Uh, okay. Do you want me to do it here or should I do it over there? So I'll do it over there. So the first one you would have is the fixed charges. So in the fixed charges what do you have is the generation cost would be fixed. Then the transmission and distribution cost would be fixed. So it means you have 28 into 10 to the power 5. This is for generation and then you have this 32 into 10 to the power 5. This is for transmission and distribution. For fuel, the 90% are in uh, running charges, so which means that 10% 10 10 of, of 90 lakh, of 90 lakh, which comes out to be how much? 9, nine lakh, so, so 9 lakhs. These are also included in the fixed charges, so which means you add the 3. So this implies that the total fixed charges come out to be 69 lakh rupees. Right? Yes. Now, this cost has to be spread over the aggregate maximum demand of all the consumers. So, if you want, this is the fixed charges. But, if you want to know, we are basically determining the fixed, uh, we are determining the two-part tariff. So, for that we need that A and that B. So, the fixed charges per kilowatt. So you have to divide them by what? You have to divide them by the aggregate maximum demand. By the aggregate maximum demand. Not on the maximum demand of the system. Okay, you have to divide by the aggregate maximum demand. And this comes out to be rupees 92 or yes, rupees 92. So this comes out to be rupees 92. So have a look. The diversity among the consumers has given you an advantage that the fixed cost per kilowatt has reduced. If for instance this was, there was no diversity and you have to take this uh, maximum demand of what? Uh, the, uh, the, the system. So this fixed cost would increase right yes similarly so that was for the fixed charges now you have for the running charges so the running charges include what 90 percent of the fuel so 90 percent of what of 90 lakh rupees so this comes out to be how much 81 lakh 81 into 10 to the power 5 yes yes similarly the units delivered are 85 percent of the units generated so basically you have to charge them on the units delivered. So the units delivered are, the units delivered are 0 0.85 times the ones that are generated 18 and 10 to the power 7. So this comes out to be 15.3 into 10 to the power 7. So these are the number of units. Now what do you have is, so uh, basically you've got your running charges but we need the running charges per kilowatt hour so this comes out to be a do the division what is this 0 0.53 0 0.053 or this is 53 pesos this is in rupees this is in rupees so the two part tariff would be what two part tariff would be 92 per kilowatt plus 0 0.0 
0.53 per kilowatt hours right yes sir 56 example 5.6 example 5.6 what does it states or should i do 5.6 in the next video yes let 5.6 be let's say i have 5.7 determine the load factor at which cost of supplying a unit of electricity from a diesel power station is the same if the annual fixed and the running charge so you are given a steam station you are given a diesel station you are given a steam station you are given a diesel station so what do you have the fixed charges are given for both fixed charges are 300 per kilowatt and 1200 per kilowatt and then the running charges are given per kilowatt hours so this is 25 pesos per kilowatt hour and and for this you have a 6.25 pesos per kilowatt hour so what are these states so let's say this is also in rupees so that the pesos the, the decimal point finishes so the state the thing is that they are asking you for the load factor at which the cost from both would be the same so if you are given if you are asked for the load factor at which uh, both tariffs cost the same so the book has its own method you know i would just do it by a shorter one and the shorter one is what uh, this one i would write it both in the two part form so the first one is 300 times what the kilowatt hours and the kilowatt hours basically in the maximum demand so you would write it 300 maximum demand plus let's say this is 25 this is 25 and this is per kilowatt hour so 25 times e yes yes similarly i will equate it for what because i need the the price at which both are equal and then i will have a 1200 times maximum demand pm and then i will have what plus 6.25 times e now put e is equal to what e is equal to fld into maximum demand into time so what do you have 6.25 fld maximum demand into time have a look pms cancelled out it is independent of the maximum demand now yes yes what do you have you only have fld remaining you only have time remaining put t is equal to 8760 hours and find the load factor find the load factor the book has got a little lengthy approach to this the book has got a little lengthy approach to this do you want me to do 5.6 as well because this will be the only one remaining then i don't want it to remain so yes i will do it i will do it so let me remove the board first and i will do it now i am feeling a little sleepy okay so i will just try to do it in a hurry and and i will go to sleep anyways so let's say example number 5.6 what are the states a generating station has a maximum demand of 75 megawatts maximum demand is 75 megawatts and a yearly load factor of 40 percent yearly load factor is 40 percent generating costs inclusive of the station capital costs are 60 per annum per kilowatt maximum demand so um, the generation cost is what the generation cost is is rupees 60 per annum per kilowatt rupees 60 per annum per kilowatt of the maximum demand plus 4 pesa 4 pesa per kilowatt hour transmitted the annual capital charges of the transmission system are capital charges for the transmission system are what 20 no 2 lakh rupees 2 lakh rupees or 20 lakh whatever it is 
one two three four five six two in ten power six twenty lakhs two million and for the distribution system for the distribution system are how much one five double zero triple zero the respective diversity factors being 1.2 and 1.25 so the transmission system has got a diversity factor of 1.2 uh, and the distribution system has a diversity factor of 1.25 efficiency of transmission system is 90 percent and that of the distribution system is 85 percent inclusive of the substation losses find the yearly cost per kilowatt and the cost per kilowatt hour mm, supplied so so the cost per kilowatt is unknown and the cost per kilowatt hour is unknown number one at the substation or where yes substation and then number two at the consumers premises so first of all the maximum demand is known yes yes load factor is known yes yes so the first that we talk about is let's say the substation cost at substation now excuse the writing please the cost per kilowatt of the maximum demand is determined from the annual fixed charges associated with the energy supply running charges so the fixed so 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 you have the fixed charges you have the running charges yes so the fixed charges include what the generation cost and the transmission cost so the fixed charges include the generation cost plus the transmission cost so what would that be what would that be generation cost is 60 rupees plus uh, 60 rupees multiplied by the maximum demand So, so do so so find it out 60 rupees multiplied by the maximum demand is 75 megawatts what this comes out to be is 4.5 into 10 to the power 6 and then add with it a 2 into 10 to the power 6 so the total fixed charges comes out to be what 6.5 into 10 to the power 6 so this is at the substation right yes then the aggregate of the maximum demands over here would be what the summation of the maximum demand you would have to consider i told you so that would be the maximum demand of the system multiplied by the diversity factor maximum demand on the station multiply the diversity factor so that would be what that would be 75 multiply 1.2 75 multiply 1.2 so this is 90 megawatts so 90 megawatts right yes sir now what do you have so that you you need to know the cost per kilowatt so the cost per kilowatt comes out to be uh, the total cost is 6.5 into 10 to the power 3 over here you have a 90 into 10 to the power 3 this comes out to be 72.22 rupees this is at the substation running charges the running charges the cost of one kilowatt hour to be transmitted is per four pesa so this is not included with this okay this is not included with this you have four pesa per kilowatt hour is separate and the generation cost is separate i was getting confused over here also so four pesas for one kilowatt hour but have a look the efficiency is 90 percent efficiency is 90 percent so which means for each one kilowatt hour transmitted 0.9 kilowatt hour is reaching the substation yes yes so which means that you have the cost per kilowatt hour at substation is what it is four zero divided by 0 0.9 this comes out to be 4.45 pesa per kilowatt hour all right yes so hence a substation you have got the two-part tariff the two-part tariff would be what 72.2 per kilowatt plus uh, 4.45 pesa per kilowatt hour this is the two-part form for the substation the second is for the consumer premises 
So can you do it by yourself or should I do it? Let's say I do it. The total annual fixed charge at the consumer premises is the sum of annual fixed charges at the substation and the annual fixed charges at the consumer premises. So the fixed charges would have what? The fixed charges would have this 6.5 also. Yes, yes, of course. The cost, the generation cost and the transmission cost plus it would have an extra of this distribution cost that is 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 so the total would come out to be 8 into 10 to the power 6 rupees yes yes then the aggregate of the maximum demand of all the consumers the summation of the maximum demand of all the consumers would be what would be the maximum demand of the substation that is this one 90 into 10 to the power 3 and this would be multiplied by diversity among the consumer that is 1.25 and this comes out to be 112.5 into 10 to the power 3 kilowatt yes yes now what do you have so the annual cost per kilowatt would be what cost per kilowatt would be 8 into 10 to the power 6 divided by 112.5 into 10 to the power 3 comes out to be 71.11 yes yes now as the distribution efficiency is 85 percent which means that for each one kilowatt hour uh, transmitted uh, delivered delivered from the substation not transmitted transmitted was over there now we're here for each one kilowatt hour dist, uh, uh, you know distributed from the substation 0.8 kilowatt hour reaches the consumer right so which means what the cost at the consumer premises cost per kilowatt hour at the consumer premises would be what the initial cost that is 4.45 this was at the transmission end right yes divided by 0 0.85 and this comes out to be 5.23 pesos now why has this increased because the efficiency has reduced of course efficiency will reduce so the cost will increase and similarly have a look over here the cost per unit of the maximum demand decreased why because the maximum demand increased so have a look the two-part tariff would be what the two-part form would be like this a this is basically the value of a this is the value of b so a is 71.11 per kilowatt plus 5.23 pesos per kilowatt hour isn't it like this it is so shouldn't this be all about it are you not tired i am tired i want to go to sleep yes yes I will see you in the next video with a number of examples. The book has examples on relating to power factor tariff. We will see that after we have seen power factor. In the next video we see some more examples. Till then take care. Goodbye.